Hey guys, Lindsay from the TG Line Channel doing a brainstorm video today. Um, I want to say a few things but first before I do this video. I've hit over a hundred, and I repeat, a hundred videos. So I've hit, I've done over a hundred videos, guys. So I've done a lot of videos. First off, second off, I've hit 50 subscribers, meaning soon, sooner, soon or later, I will be doing a Q and A. So don't be f afraid to comment down below, guys, and let me know what you guys have any questions about the channel, questions at all, and I'll answer anything. Also, this is the last suggestion I have for my brainstorm series, so please come up with some more cards that you want me to talk about, my opinion on them. Otherwise, I'll have to come up with some random cards. Um, today's is Boros Guild a Guild Gate Land. It's a gate. It has Bill Phil tapped. Tap at a red or white mana, like mana pool. It's uh, from Gate Crash, but and it's common. It is also from Dragon's Maze, Heroes vs. Monsters, and Commander 2013. Has a rating of 3.061. It's currently legal in all sets, I believe. Um, I would wouldn't see why it wouldn't be. Stupid ad. Get out of the way, ad. Yeah, I don't really. If this is illegal or banned and for some reason in something, please tell me why. Um, so my opinions on this car is summed up in one word, well, two words Hydra Poop. I repeat, Hydra Poop. The reason why I say this is because of how terrible this card is. The only time I would see this being played in any deck or form is when you do not have the disposable. Dispose ability of shock lands or scry lands or any dual fixing lands ever. This is the only time this would ever see play. And I mean, would you rather play this or a Temple of Triumph with that extra scry? I mean, you're going to take the Triumph any day because you get the scry off the tapped. The only time I would see this ever being played is in common only formats like Popper. Um, that gets the mana fixing in there, even though it slows down at you a turn, but still gets the mana fixing in there. Besides that, this card is kind of poop. Like, there's nothing great about this card. It's mana fixing, which is the only great part about it. I mean, it enters Battlefield Tap, so it has a downside. But I mean, like other cards, like Shocklands, if you don't understand why Shocklands are better than this, it's because you have the, uh, oh, t you're going to get hurt for two life. In Magic, you have 20 life. It's not even, that's just a small chunk. And the thing is, is that two life could win you a game. And you can have it so it stays untapped instead of coming in tapped. So you have more uh, flexibility with it. This just, you automatically have to do it and it causes a lot of problems. Um, so pretty much, I just think this card is terrible. Same with all the guild gates. So yeah, this is kind of a shorter video. But don't forget to comment down below. Um, let me know what you guys think of the series, because this is like the worst card I've had you talk about out of all three. Well, four is this fourth or the third? Because I talked about brainstorm, talked about mind sculptor, talked about Johnny. This will be the fourth video. So also comment down below. Give me some Q and A questions. Also give me suggestions for brainstorm, guys. Any cards liable except the ones I've already done. So don't do those. Find a card that you like or you want me to talk about and what you, uh, what my opinions are. Or otherwise, I have to come up with a card on my own. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm at 100 videos, 50 subscribers. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Peace.